aircraft constructors show at Farnborough this year was bigger and better than ever. Interested crowds included invited representatives from over 60 countries. They were all there to see a display of the latest and best in British aircraft construction. The weather was ideal. Marshal of the Royal Air Force, Lord Tedder, was there. So were two others vitally interested in air defence, Mr. A.V. Alexander and Field Marshal Sir William Slim. There was plenty to interest them. This is the Sierra Air Horse, a 24-seater helicopter powered by a Merlin engine. Outstanding among the bombers was the Canberra B-1, made by the English Electric Company, a medium-range turbojet of tremendous speed and manoeuvrability. Avro Shackleton, the largest military aircraft in the show, a long-range maritime reconnaissance bomb. With the accent on peace, or so we hope, civil aircraft were obviously very much to the fore. Here's the de Havilland Comet, a 36-passenger jet airliner and the first of its kind in the world. Viscount, already on order by British Airlines and powered by turbo propellers, gave a spectacular display with two engines stopped and feathered. The Hermes 5 from the Handley Page stable, a pressurized 40-seater again powered by turbo props. With a full complement of passengers and three and a half tons of freight, it can fly 2,000 miles at 330 miles an hour. Another aircraft with an outstanding performance. Apollo fills the gap between feeder planes and the larger machine. Bamba turboprops provide the power and up to 30 passengers can be accommodated. more turboprops, this time in the handley page Marathon 2, a feeder aircraft. She was another machine to show her paces on only half power. Perhaps the most spectacular performances were put up by the smaller types. Here's the DH-112, the Venom, a development of the famous Vampire.
Another factor in the improved jet performances this year was the system of boosting known as reheat. Venom's twin sister, the DH-113, intended for night fighting. The main difference being the twin seats, which provide for a pilot and radar operator. The Meteor, fitted with two Avon jets, is the most powerful fighter in the world. one of the very latest, a Hawker P1052 powered by a Rolls-Royce Neen turbojet. And what's rumored to be the fastest aircraft in the show, the Vickers Supermarine 510 an experimental supersonic job. interesting was the Avro 707, another experimental machine which has become known as the Flying Triangle because of its Delta IV. It came off the secret list at 2.30 p.m. on the first day of the show and was flying the same afternoon. Coming over at between 300 and 350 miles an hour, she excited a tremendous amount of interest. Her 33-foot span wings of equilateral pattern are perhaps the shape of things to come. Solent flew just over the heads of the spectators, an impressive and frightening sight. And Britain's biggest aviation achievement, Brabazon, took off from Bristol to fly to Farnborough. When 130 tons of aircraft takes off, it makes a suitable subject for a close-up. The hundred-seater airliner came over at really low level. A magnificent spectacle at a magnificent show. In fact, the greatest air show the world has yet seen. 